by all accounts, we have our Sue Storm for the MCU. And according to everybody that's reporting on it right now, Vanessa Kirby has officially been offered the role and she is expected to take it. This of course comes just days after we learned that Margot Robbie passed on the role due to them lowballing her. Vanessa Kirby's name isn't being brought up for the first time by anybody in relation to the Fantastic Four. Over the course of the last five to six months, her name has been associated with Marvel Studios and then specifically attached to Fantastic Four for the better part of the last three months. And from what we understand, she, along with Margot Robbie and two other actresses, was literally at the forefront and their top picks and the decision was going to be made based on who is willing to take the lowest payday while also committing to the most projects by the sounds of it and again margot robbie and adam driver sounds like that they got fed up with uh, marvel studios and disney's uh, criminally low offers and it sounds like that they've given it to vanessa kirby and that she by all accounts is going to accept it now Again, um, Vanessa Kirby isn't as big of a name as Margot Robbie, so whatever Margot was asking for, quite clearly, Vanessa's not going to be asking for the same thing. So I get this tactic, and, uh, you know, it's just Hollywood. This is how it happens, right? But at the same time, my whole issues with Vanessa Kirby still stands. I talked about it in previous videos. I've seen her in three projects now. She has never once impressed me with her acting outside of acting like she's a woman with no emotion and nobody can get her down. Like that's literally been her role in the three things I've seen her in. One of those obviously being Mission Impossible. The other one, Fast and Furious, I think, I want to say it was maybe Hobbs and Shaw. Maybe it was one of the other ones. I don't know. But like, I don't know. Her acting just hasn't impressed me to the degree. But hopefully this is just because a lot of those films are typecasting her. Because I think, honestly, she has the look on point for Sue Storm. So let's hope that uh, if she gets it, she can deliver the performance we need as a leading lady that's going to have to carry the Fantastic Four. Because make no mistake about it, Sue Storm is the face of the Fantastic Four, regardless of what you think or who might be your favorite. So it's going to be interesting to see just uh, how she does it if she does accept it.